Hey everybody, so this video is going to be titled Stay at Home Mom versus Working Mom. I'm just going to kind of list the pros and cons of both working, being a working mom and a stay at home mom because I've done both. I thought it would be neat to compare those for you. Um, I'm going to start with a working mom and I basically put three pros and three cons for both. So, um, for a working mom, the three pros I put was interacting with other adults, extra income, and experience. And um, the one thing I really, really enjoyed about being a working mom was interaction with other adults and being able to hold a conversation with an adult during the day. But um, the second one is extra income, and it's always nice to have a, a little extra money. And then the third one was experience. And it's just nice to be able to say you, you've had a job, you've had experience in, in a certain field or something like that for future jobs. The three cons that I put was away from your kids, less time for other things like cleaning and homework, and um, you have to pay for a daycare or a sitter for your kids. And of course, Everyone's going to understand the being away from your kids being a con because it stinks having to be away from your kids every day. Um, less time for other things like cleaning and such. When I was working, I was still um, doing school online. And it was really difficult trying to keep up with... I worked twelve, usually close to 12-hour days, four days a week. And it was still really difficult having to come home and cook dinner, clean, do my homework, and all that, and have time for Brennan, which I didn't have Colin then. And it was really difficult. And then daycare or a sitter. I actually worked at a daycare. I actually worked at a daycare with Brennan, and so I got a discount for daycare because that's where he, he just went there with me. But it was still hard trying to keep up and pay for that daycare when... Um, you don't make but a little over minimum wage and in the end it just started not being worth it to have to pay for gas, pay for daycare every month and I just wasn't making enough money for it to be worth it. And then being a stay at home mom, the three pros that I listed were spending all day with your children, more time for chores and homework, and no daycare. So, um, the first one, spending all day with your children, is a given. Um, I get to sit and interact with my kids and teach them and watch them learn all of these new things and hit their milestones that they're supposed to meet. And I get to see that every day. I literally get to see their progression every single day. And they do learn stuff every single day. They learn something new. So it, that's pretty amazing. And... The second one is more time for chores and homework. I'm nowhere near stressed out about homework lately as I, well not lately, I haven't worked for a year, but this last year I've been so much less stressed about the homework as I was when I had to go to work four days a week for close to 12 hours and only really had those three days to get everything done. So it's a lot easier for me to do my chores and my homework. And then the no daycare. Um, I didn't really have a great experience with working and him going to the daycare. So I would, I'm just one of those parents that would much rather watch my children than someone else watch them. But if someone else does watch them, I would rather a close family member watch them. So I think it's a plus not to have to have my kids go to daycare. And plus you don't have to pay for it and it saves you some money. And then the three cons I listed was hardly no adult interaction, only one income, and no work experience. So, um, no adult interaction. I talked to a three-year-old and a five-month-old all day, every day, until my husband comes home, and he usually works seven days a week. So, every day of the week, most of the time, that's who I talk to and interact with. And don't get me wrong, I love my children, and I love 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 getting to stay home with them and talk to them and watch them grow but it is nice to have adult interaction every now and then and then only one income we make it 
good, pretty good with one income. It does get hard sometimes, but it's worth it because for me to get a job, I would basically just be paying for gas and a babysitter. And it's just, it's not worth it at all. Um, and no work experience. I have no work experience in the field that I'm actually going to school for. And I plan on being a stay-at-home mom as long as I can. And so once I'm actually, my kids are in school, I'm planning on working, I won't have any experience and I'll be starting new. Which is okay, but it would be nice to have a little work experience. But I guess you always have to start from the bottom. Whether it's now or later. I just wanted to add that with me having experience in both being a stay-at-home mom and a working mom that I really favor being a stay-at-home mom better. You don't have to spend money on all those things, gas and daycare and all that. And like for my job I had to have scrubs so those are so expensive. I had to keep buying new scrubs and um, you don't have to spend all that extra money. You get to spend the day with your kids and watch them grow and it's just a really amazing thing and by no means am I saying being a stay-at-home mom is better than being a working mom because they're both great and they're both um, you're just as good of a mom as if you stay home with your kids and if you go to work so by no means am I saying one's better than the other I enjoy being a stay-at-home mom better it's less stress because I'm also in school so I get more time to focus on that and to focus on my kids so that's just my opinion. I really like being a stay-at-home mom better. And I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And request videos if you have one you want me to do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!